the Sons of Liberty is a pretty big organization. Sons of Liberty actually emerges from uh, a couple of mobs in Boston, the North End Mob and the South End Mob. Uh, the real leader of the South End Mob was a guy named Ebenezer McIntosh, a shoemaker. And he could lead a mob of a thousand men through the streets. And initially what they do is every year on November 5th, as they go out and they burn effigies of the Pope, they have a cart with an effigy of the Pope. They drag through the streets of the South End and they like, they go into taverns and demand to be served. And uh, they like it if you illuminate your windows saying you hate the Pope too. And if um, you just say you're a tavern keeper and decide not to serve us, that's good, we'll help ourselves. So um, and they're doing this as they're also looking for the North End Cotillion, which is bringing their effigy of the Pope through the streets. Uh, all of this commemorates an event back in 1604 on November the 5th when a group of Catholics tried to blow up the Houses of Parliament and ever after in England it's observed as Guy Fawkes Day. In Boston it's Pope's Day. And then when the North End group and the South End group meet, they attack each other and they try to capture the other one's Pope and then they have a bonfire. So you're combining a number of things that seem to be appealing to a certain segment of the population, you know, alcohol, um, destruction of property, and fire. And there's some thinking that maybe we should clamp down on this, but others think, well, gee, every day, 364 days a year, these folks behave themselves. In the early 1760s, this group starts taking on something of a different cast. That is, on their big tree in the south end of Boston, instead of hanging effigies of the Pope, they're hanging effigies of the stamp tax collector or of Lord Butte, Boot, who was uh, George III's tutor. And they're the group that destroys Thomas Hutchinson's house in August of 1765. Um, and in the, uh, when Parliament passed the stamp tax, the uh, Parliament debates this, and a lot of members of Parliament think this isn't a wise thing to do because it's going to be provoking disorder. And uh, one member of Parliament says, well, these Americans, they were nurtured by our care, and they've been sustained by our kind governance, and they should be part of the empire and should pay their fair share. And Isaac Barry, who is a hero of the Seven Years' War and also a Whig, says, he responds to this saying, nurtured by your care, they left here to get away from you. Sustained by your kind governance, they've thrived in spite of your every effort to trample on their liberties. And they're not simply lawless mobs. They're the God, they're freeborn sons of liberty seeking to protect their God-given rights as Englishmen. Well, back in Boston, Ebenezer McIntosh and others read Isaac Barry's speech in the press. Well, gee, sons of liberty sounds a lot better than the South End mob. So they become the sons of liberty, and their tree becomes the liberty tree, and uh, Ebenezer McIntosh becomes the captain general of the liberty tree.